Well, thanks for staying with me through all of my talking. So now I finally get to show you Fact Finder. And how do we get there? From the Census Bureau's homepage, you can go to Data and go down to American Fact Finder. Or, like I showed you in the PowerPoint, if you go to the bottom of the page, over here under A's, somewhere there is American Fact Finder. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is, right there. So let's click on that. And you go to the Fact Finder homepage. And this lovely lady it smiles at me every time I come there, and I enjoy that. So here are the three uh, ways to get data, the simple way, the middle complex way, and the full Monty way here, advanced search. Under community facts, well, first let me show you a little bit about the page. So we have a nice picture in the upper right-hand corner. We have this, these kind of gateways up here or shortcuts uh, to uh, fact find, using Fact Finder. And then down below, we have this neat address search, uh, reference maps. Here's all the data provided, all the data products uh, provided uh, through Fact Finder. So you can see you, you pick up the economic censuses and economic surveys, census of governments, housing survey, and the American Community Survey is really uh, the, 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 the main source of the data. Let's try, uh, for example, a quick community facts and see how this works. It looks pretty easy. A zip code will work. Let me think of a zip code. Um, can you guess where this is? 90021. I'm kind of, I suppose if it's not a good zip code, you won't get anything back. This is somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where, but it's a population of 3,951 from census 2010 and you can see here the, here are other tables available for this zip code uh, census data and American Community Survey data by with all the various uh, sample topics but you don't have down here uh, population estimates and economic data zip code is a great way to find data they're, they're unique and they go right to that geography for the zip code. Now let's say you're typing in a name, New York. Everybody knows a New York. You start typing in New York and you get quite a few choices. New York, New York County, Albany County, New York, Allegheny County, New York. So what FactFinder is doing is a text search and it's looking for geographies with the text New York somewhere in the geography name. That's why you're going to pick up multiple hits and you and you got to it's like picking uh, when you pick air, airports uh, when you're using um, the web and it gives you choices. So what we want is New York City, New York. It's not this first one, but New York City, New York. So I'm going to select that. No, I want Yeah, New York State. That's right. <laughs> 8.1 million. That sounds like New York, right? Notice here that all the uh, tables are lit up and you get some population estimates and you get some economic data because New York is so large and you know the sample sizes are large enough to have these other data. Uh, out of curiosity let's see what the economic data is and what year it comes up. I clicked on that and here it says 2007. See right here Geographic Area Series, Economy Y, Key Statistics, 2007 Economic Census. So apparently the 2012 Economic Census data is not yet available. And when it is available, that's what you'll get on these quick searches that kind of give you most recent data. All right, so let's back out of that to the main website. Okay, main website, here we go, hit main. Now we'll try guided search. What does guided search do? So get me started. Here we go. Guided search gives you these tabs that walk you through step by step and force you to pick uh, a choice that essentially does what, what I suggested, the three things you need to get a fact finder success. Geography, a topic, and a, uh, what was the third one? Uh, a product in a year. So it says start. Choose from one of the following. I'm looking for information about people, housing, etc. So let's just stay with people. And you hit next at the bottom of the screen. But by the way, this was all introduced in about 
uh, early 2013 as a uh, much more public friend friendly interface in using FactFinder uh, compared to the FactFinder 1 or legacy FactFinder, which has since been discontinued. Now you see under people this long list of topics. Remember, topics, programs, and products. People, each where, wherever you have a plus sign means you can open it up and you'll find something else. So out of curiosity, let's go down here to marital and fertility status. You got a breakout of fertility, marital history, and marital status. These numbers to the right here indicate how many tables have the word fertility in the title for a, the geography you've selected. Well, you haven't selected a geography yet, so it's defaulting to the entire United States. So let's say we want to know about marital status. There's 2,278 tables that have the words marital status in the title. That's a lot, and we've got to narrow that down some more. But we've picked our selection. It's now in your selection or your, your shopping cart. And you want to go on to the next choice and says you got to have a geography. Again, you can, a couple ways you can do that. You can enter a state, a zip code, a city name, and so forth. Or you can do what I'd like to do here and show you is select from the choices of ge geographies uh, that the Census Bureau uh, in, in the Census Bureau format that, that I'm used to. And I want to go to a place. And because places are unique to states, it's going to say, well, what state is your place in? All right. I want to go to, somebody help me here. I like uh, Wilmington, Delaware. Here's Delaware. And you can pick all places within Delaware right there. Or... Go down to the end, Wilmington, must be down here, Wilmington City, Delaware. Add that to my box. And you see it show up, hopefully, hopefully, there it is. Notice how the selection tables now has dropped to 764. That's still a lot of tables, but we've now narrowed in on a geography. Now with uh, the guided search, you can actually do more than one geography. So for the sake of uh, fun here, let's pick um, Bethany Beach. I've been there. It's a nice little town. And add that. So you can have more than one geography in your selection box. Now, here's something I'm a little worried about. Bethany Beach is really small. Wilmington City is a city. Notice now that my table numbers have dropped to 103. Hmm. All right. So I've got two geographies and one topic. Let me go on to next. Do I want race and ethnic groups? I don't, so let's just skip this step, but you could go through and pick from uh, race and ethnic groups. You get now results. What this guided search has not asked you is what year, what data product you want, so it gives you all of them in, in, in this list of uh, tables. Here's the top 10. So this is kind of like a Google search with top 10. In these search results, they always show you the United States first. I don't know why, but I guess it's there for reference. Like, what are, what are these topics for, and, and the uh, data for the entire country? You see this first one, in the United States. So you don't want that one. But the next one down, households, households and families from the ACS five-year data but I was after marital status. Here's marital status. Now what I should find, I hope here, is marital status for my geographies. Let's open this table, and what do we get? Yes, good, this worked. What I see here is a table with the two geographies listed side by side, Bethany Beach, right here, Wilmington City, and going down the left-hand side is a lot of data about age and sex. And I'm hoping down here there's some marital status. Marital status down here at the very bottom. A lot of X's. Uh, oh, no, that's, um, that's imputed. That's all right. Where's my marital status information? I think if I go to another page on this long table, 
I will find my marital status. Oh, here it is right across the top. <laughs> How embarrassing. Uh, divorced, separated, never married. Now married, widowed, divorced, separated, never married. So the marital status data uh, was right in the column headings all along. Notice here, like I've warned you before, you have these margins of error. Now, let's take a quick look here. In Bethany Beach, Delaware, where the population of 15 and over is only 766 people, plus or minus 145 people. Wow. Married, widowed. Widowed, the estimate is 9%, plus or minus almost 3%. Separated, 1.2%, margin of error, plus or minus 1%. That basically means this number is not useful. But when you get to Wilmington City, a larger city with 57,000 people, now your margins of error for here, never now married, is you know much, much smaller. So that shows you how uh, smaller geographies in terms of population can still show you data. Look at this one, zero plus or minus 100. It, it doesn't mean it's just bad data. All right, that was the guided search. Now let's kind of do the same thing with the advanced search. So the advanced search is really Fact Finder. And this is the Fact Finder page. Notice up here on the left, the search uh, filters and selections I had earlier are already in the box. I don't have to do those again. But you can clear all that and start over. But let's let me show you how we got that in Fact Finder Advanced Search. Let's clear the box and start over. And remember, I want three things, my topics. So I hit the topic box. There's that list of topics. There's, you've seen this before, there's marital status. And I want marital status. And it goes up into the box. And then I close that selection. I call it a floating selection. Now I want my geographies. Here's the geography box. And again, I can pick from my geography types. I want a place. It forces me to pick a state. And uh, where were we? Delaware. And then there are these places in Delaware. We're going to pick uh, Bethany Beach in Delaware, add to selection. And then Go all the way down to Wilmington at the end and add that to my selection. All right, now close that floating box over here. I've got the same results, but I can narrow it even further by selecting my data, product, and year. It happens to be that it's here under topics. If I go to topics, look down here at the bottom, program. There's those programs I tell you about and data sets. The data sets popping up are the only data sets that have the data for these geographies. So I could go back and get 2000 census data for these two geographies as well as the 2010 five year data. See now I've got two geographies, two years, and one uh, topic. Close that floating box. I've now narrowed my search down to 14 tables. The first couple tables are United States. And I think this one here, if you wanted to uh, get your data here, you'd have to select this one, which is the 2010 ACS five-year data. And the 2000 now is added. You see the sample data, uh, demographic so I would say marital status 15, probably P18. These two tables you could download, you could compare, and so forth. So uh, this is just an example of using Fact Finder to find multiple geographies, multiple products for one topic. I could also add another topic.